I got a comment recently from Pritam Official saying that he was having trouble bringing his audio files into Rough Animator. Well, there is a slight trick to doing this. So let me show you how I bring in different audio files into Rough Animator in today's episode of the Expat Animator. Okay, so let's go into Rough Animator and create a new project. And let's just make a typical 1080p at 30 frames per second. And what I want to do is we normally start a brand new project with the background layer and layer on top of it, layer one here, with just one frame each. So if you were to just go into file and import audio right now, you're going to have a problem. It doesn't matter which format we use. Let's just try AIFF for now. And we hit open and nothing happens. And if you hit play, you can't hear anything. So what's the trick? Well, what you need to do is you need to extend this out. And there's a few ways that we can do this. We can direct click and drag, or we can just add frames here to the drawing duration. And I know this is about three seconds, so I'm just gonna put in 90 frames here. And that's going to give me where I can see the whole audio here in the waveform up in the timeline. So if I want to hear this play, I can do a couple of things. I can hit the play button, test, test, one, two, three, or I can click any of the layers here. So if I just click this layer, test, test, then you should hear the audio. Now, if I click up here in the timeline, not the layers, it doesn't play the audio. But from here, we can scrub the audio. And scrubbing the audio will come in handy if you're trying to do lip syncing in Rough Animator. Let me just scrub this real quick and you can listen to the audio. So that's how you scrub. And remember we brought in the AIFF. Now say I want to bring in another audio file. I don't have the option here to import another audio. So Rough Animator only lets you bring in one audio file at a time. So I would have to remove this audio file before I can bring in a new audio file. So let's go ahead and do that. And now that it's gone, I can come up here to file and import audio is now an option again. And let's try an MB3 instead this time. And you can see there it just comes in. These are the same audio file, just different formats. I just want to show you that Rough Animator can play different formats. So you can see we can scrub. I can click here and just listen to the audio. Test, test, one, two, three. Or we can put play here. Test, test, one, two, three. Test, test. So again, now if I want to delete this test, layer, test, one, two, three, it's not giving me that option because Rough Animator needs to have at least one layer. So if I want to add a layer, let's add an empty layer here. And now I want to delete layer one. Test, let's go back to test, layer one. one, two, three. Now I delete this. Watch what happens to the audio here. It's gone. So it looks like your audio file deleted off with that layer one, but it's actually still there. We're just not seeing it because we're back down to only showing one frame. So if I extend this one frame back out to 90 frames, you can see that we still have the audio file in the file of Ref Animator. So the audio is not connected to an actual layer it's within the project itself so keep that in mind when you're working with audio that if you're deleting layers you're only going to be able to hear your audio if there's a layer that extends the length of the audio itself otherwise you're not going to be able to play the audio file even though it's in rough animator so let's go ahead and quickly bring this back up to 90 frames and i'm going to delete this audio and let's go ahead and bring in that third audio file, uh, the wave file here. I haven't noticed any difference between the three different files. I like to use wave uh, usually, but any of those three files will work within Rough Animator, and I'm sure some other formats will work as well. So if you have a format you'd like to use, go ahead and leave it in the comments. But these will be a good starting point for you to bring in your audio files into Rough Animator. So hopefully those tips will help you be able to use audio in your rough animator files as well. It's especially helpful for lip syncing and for timing purposes. So 
go ahead and import your own audio into Rough Animator and make your own animations. This has been Patrick Davidson, the expat animator. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.